Hey everybody, it's time for another Playing With Me. I am playing the week of September 30th to October 6th this week, which is pretty wild. Um, this week's wild for a lot of reasons, actually. <laughs> but yeah, this is the start of October, of course. Um, and I am doing a kind of theme month in October of like celestial galaxy kits. Because what happened was... I have always loved the Simply Gilded Galaxy Washi, but I've never gotten my hands on any of it. And then, like, l earlier this year, when they came out with the Dawn and Dusk Galaxy Collections, I did snag them, and then I was like, okay, now I have all this, like, washi that's, like, how am I gonna use it? So I then bought a bunch of kits, because also around that time it was, like, a hot kind of trend, so I bought a bunch of kits that kind of had vague celestial themes that I thought would go with either Rose Gold, which is the Dusk, or Holographic, which ha is the Dawn. Uh, and then I was like, oh my gosh, I have so many of these kits, how am I gonna ever use them all? And I decided a theme month would be a perfect way to to use a chunk of them certainly not all of them <laughs> but a chunk of them so I'm gonna use four um, like celestial themed kits this month uh, and then Halloween for the last week of course uh, so yeah just the four um, but yeah this one actually once I actually got it realized it didn't really match with the dusk uh, washi so I won't actually be using the dusk washi this week there's too little blue and it's kind of the wrong blue so it doesn't really go um, but it does go with rose gold and I have plenty of stuff to use and it's going to look great. So this is a kit from Regina Laughs called Moon Child and it's like the base kit. I think you can get add-ons but I don't think I got any of those. I think this is just comes with the base kit. Um, but this is the, the bow sampler which has like your um, cut out icons and some different types of bow boxes and then your full boxes here which are absolutely gorgeous. This is less like specifically celestial and more kind of like crystal like I don't know you 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 get what I'm saying um but it does have like this motif and it is called Moonchild so um yeah then you've got like headers some hearts some sidebar stuff and some deco and you've got a functional sheet with lots of labels boxes checklists icons weekends banner and then you get your washi sheet which has cut washi strips and bottom washi so yeah that's the the kit that we're using this week oh I forgot to show you um uh, the last plan with me I planned was um, uh, my wedding anniversary week and then I also um, have filmed the October monthly but I won't show that because I don't know what order these are going up in. Probably. Yeah, this will probably go up before that, so I won't show you that. Um, but I did I did film my October monthly spread, uh, which is also celestial themed. <laughs> um, but yeah, I did uh, this spread with a GP Sticker Studio mystery kit. This was the February mystery kit. It's actually the last mystery kit I had. I stopped getting them because... I just, with the type of planning I do, it's just too much um, stuff that I don't really use all of, and yeah, so uh, I did I did stop getting those, um, and also the a lot of times I wasn't necessarily enjoying the designs of them, so I was selling them, so I was like, you know, what, let's just let's just not not get the not bother with the mystery for kits. Mystery I think is kind of not really for me, but yeah, I really like I did like uh, this one. I like the Dalmatian print and how it went perfectly with the Dalmatian print simply gilded washi, and it's got all the gold foil and it's really nice. So that's the last one that you missed and now we're caught up so I'm gonna start with my basics I did pull in date covers um because I don't like all this stuff up here so I wanted to cover that up and actually they are the um second set of date covers from this kit <laughs> so those kits come with two sets of date covers and I thought that it totally worked the pink is like a good match and the gray even though maybe there's not explicitly dark gray in the kit it just kind of went I felt like and the kind of effect is is in other places so I felt like I could get away with using this uh, and then I've got some uh, Arctic Paper Studio rose gold foil date numbers uh, so that's for up there in terms of oh I, I forgot to pull flags um, actually, I mean, I could use flags from here. Yeah, why don't I just go for that? Okay. I, th yeah, I'm going to use, um, just flags from the kit. They're very plain though, so I will probably put a bow or something on them. Um, I'll see what looks nice when I'm doing it. So yeah, I'll just use kits to cover, or flags from the kit to cover up that. And then for headers, I do have a full three sets of headers here. However, I didn't really want to use to do headers so I pulled in this um, set of headers from Harriet Red Designs this is from a foil mystery bundle I don't remember which month a few months ago um, and yeah I think I will do today across the top because that's kind of fitting and then I think which one do I like better 
Well, this, yeah, I think I, I think I will do this one across the full boxes. I think that'll look nice. I really like these. Um, so yeah, I'll do the decorative headers across the, the middle for on top of the full boxes. And I'm going to use these um, bow headers across the bottom because it's not really a to-do section anymore the way that I plan. It's really just a continuation of the whole, I, I end up doing my days more chronologically. And even though a lot of times the like little things or to-dos do end up in the bottom, it kind of isn't exactly that. So to-do headers don't necessarily make sense. So yeah, hopefully it won't look weird having like all super different types of headers, like text, decorative, foiled, but I don't know. I think it'll look okay. Uh, and I thought this was a good match. So yeah, I'm going to use those for headers. And then uh, my full boxes, of course, I pulled in several things to decorate them, uh, including from, I think, pro maybe the same, no, maybe not the same, actually, I don't know, from another or the same uh, hair, it designs foil mystery, this is just too perfect, so it's rose gold, so it matches, and it's got, like, the same crystal design, and it's got moons, so I just thought that was too perfect, so this set of full box overlays I'm definitely going to use. Uh, and then I just pulled in just miscellaneous stuff for my collection. Scribble Prince Co. bows, Arctic Paper Studio photo corners, Harry Wright Designs bows in the larger and the smaller, and Rose Color Days lace overlays. I thought that kind of pattern looked good. So we'll see We'll see what fits on the different boxes and what looks nice um, as we kind of go along there. So that's that. And then for uh, bottom washi, I decided in the end that I am just going to use the bottom washi that's included with the kit. I'll layer both of them. Because, yeah, I did pull in some uh, some Simply Gilded washies that we might use if there's like extra space or in the sidebar or things like that. Um, but the copper foil maybe isn't perfect, a perfect match for this kit. Um, these three are in the copper. Um, they're from the, the same pre-sale, I think, as the Galaxy ones. They're just like, um, I think this is plum and I think this is mauve. And then I think this is like the plum to mauve ombre. Um, and then these five millimeters from the Galaxy collection the this pink and blue with rose gold stars I thought might work to fill in if there's any small spaces to fill in so I did pull those washes in but for bottom wash I am just going to use the ones included and yeah that's everything for the basics so um oh actually I always forget to do this weekend banner yes I like the weekend banner from the kit I'm just going to stick it in um wherever it looks good so yeah I'm going to do all that and then I will be back Okay, so I'm really excited how this turned out. I ended up like chopping and changing that one lace box. I didn't, I could have got my slice tool and ruler out. I didn't do it the most even, but it's all right. I think it still looks nice. Um, yeah, and I ended up um, flipping, I was using whiteout sparingly because I'm like almost out of whiteout. Um, I need to get some more. Uh, but luckily, I mean, with GP Sticker Studio paper, even with light colors, the paper is so thick that you really don't need to um, white out behind it, which is awesome. Um, and this paper as well is quite thick and nice, but here you could barely, with the light color, you could barely see the line, so I did do a little whiting out. Um, but I ended up flipping this one upside down because, so even though you can kind of tell the flowers are upside down, it kind of can look like they're more hanging because otherwise I would have been putting the weekend banner over the, like, the only decorative part of the bottom washi and then this whole blank space. It, I think it would have looked weird. I think this looks much better. So, yeah, let's get started on the day by day. So we're going to zoom in on Monday here and Monday is like a pretty, pretty chill day. So well, let's see, let's get started with, I have these hummingbird planner dots. Um, I have these purple ones that I'm going to be pulling in and then if I run out, I can pull in some hexagons. So, okay. So I've got my, I always need to squeeze this in a little bit. Um, so I've got my dot here. I've got my Stella Bow Sticker Co. Rose Gold Foiled Workout Script. 
And then I've got a Lucinda Charlotte Designs yoga mat because the workout this day is stretching. There we go. So just do some layering there. And then, well, I've got the, pull the icons I want to use. Um, maybe pull one of these nice bow quarter boxes down there and then I can do like a scallop maybe just mixing stuff up here so we've got plenty of space this is for going to be for working from home and this is going to be for a meeting in the evening these both need dots and then that's it <laughs> so I have nothing to put down here on Monday thus far um, I'm sure I'll come up with something um, but nothing as of right now because this is a super busy week every other day this week is going to be like major struggles to fit everything in and I've rearranged stuff because I knew I couldn't fit everything on one day and like that might seem like a silly thing to do like you're only doing it for your planner but it actually makes sense. Like if there's too, if you've allotted too much stuff on a day that it won't fit in like that much space, then like th that's too much stuff. You're probably not going to get it done. I'm not probably not going to get it done. So it's actually a good like metric for when to like, okay, assign something to a different day. So that being said, stuff's going to be on different days than it usually is. And that is because my parents are coming to visit this weekend, kind of last minute. So maybe a couple weeks ago, this was planned. So, um, yeah, uh, just kind of sh trying to shove that in with the fact that I don't really have time to take days off work and I also have some appointments and all sorts of different things going on. So yeah, every other day is going to be wild. So I'm sure something will get filled in down there later anyways. So moving on to Tuesday though, got to do another workout. So I'm going to take another dot. And what are we? No, that's okay. Okay. This day's okay. So I've got a dot from Hummingbird Planner, my workout script, and I've got this running icon, um, which is also from Stella Bow Sticker Co. It's from a um, miscellaneous uh, cut icons sheet. Uh, so I just thought I would use that with the script. And that is for, that's because that's uh, cardio. So it's like running makes sense. Uh, then let's see. Yeah, what kind of different markings do I have here well I used a scallop for working from home these are the two days the only two days I'm working from home so I might as well use another scallop I guess uh, and then I want to do some reading in the evening so I could do like one of these boxes yeah So, okay, cool. So for working from home on this day, I am just going to take the house icon from the uh, the kit. So it doesn't need a dot because I can check the icon off. And then for reading, I pulled in this paper clip icon from the kit. I thought that was cute because like, I don't know, it kind of is like a bookmark. Not really, but that's all right. <laughs> and then I am going to take my custom read foiled script, which is from Barney and Moon. Great, and then in the sort of to-do section, hmm, what do I want to use to mark this? Maybe I'll pull my icons again. That that always helps me decide which boxes to use. So I've got a bill due, uh, and I've moved. So usually on Wednesday I do my nails and the laundry, but I have moved both of these to Tuesday um, because... I am gone all, all day Wednesday for a full day team meeting, a very long day. <laughs> so I won't be able to do any laundry on this day. So I'll do it on Tuesday. And then why did I move doing my nails? I think I just had too much stuff to put on Wednesday. So I moved to doing my nails to, to Tuesday. Yes. Great. So, okay. So now I've got my icons. I can decide what I want to put where. So I've actually got enough room here. So that's good. Um... I think I'll use one of the hmm, yeah like 
this. Good for what? Um. this up here for laundry I guess I'll just put this on um, that sock icon which is very cute is from the kit the bow sampler and then I could use a heart from the kit to check it off instead of a dot maybe uh, like I don't know I don't heart laundry maybe that's a little weird um, <laughs> I'll put a dot and then I can just write laundry up there and then it just kind of takes up a little more space. Cool. And then quarter box would be good. Yeah. So I'm going to take this quarter box down here and this is going to be for my, oh my gosh, I'm doing, I'm putting these on Wednesday. I'm so used to putting laundry on Wednesday that I just started put, doing this day on Wednesday and ripped up a bunch of paper. That's okay. Okay. <laughs> and that's fine. Okay. So Tuesday is the first, which is the day that my Harriet Wright Designs um, mystery foil subscription bill is due. It's a lot of words. Um, I, I can use a heart for that. Why not? Okay. So I'm just using the sticker, the like set of sticker sheets from the bow sampler. I thought that'd be cute. And then the, the heart to check it off. And then in the middle there, I could do a flag, I think. Yeah. Why not? So we actually took up a lot of space, but that's, that's all right. That's what we want to do. So I'm going to take, actually, I think another, another heart might be appropriate. Um, and this uh, nails, nail polish, even though I don't paint my nails, doing my nails just means um, cutting, filing, cleaning the cuticles, all that. Um, but, you know, there's always nail polish stickers everywhere in, in the planning sphere so I just use those since I always have them but that is from an Arctic Paper Studio freebie uh, and that's Tuesday done amazing so moving on to Wednesday let's start up here so uh, I'm going on to campus usually I put coffee first when I'm going on to campus but there will definitely be like free coffee at this meeting that I'm going to so uh, I'm just gonna not do not pay for a coffee how about that so okay so I want to mark my train I pulled in these train trackers from Harry Wright Designs for the two trains I have to do this week. I'm not doing the return trains for either one of them. Um, mostly because I'm probably going to do open return. At least for this day. I usually do open return. It's like not actually that much more expensive to just do open return. And then you're in better shape. Um, but so for that reason. And also because I don't, I'm not taking my planner out with me. So I mostly am looking referencing it in the morning when I'm seeing what time I need to leave and stuff. So that's kind of my rhyme and reason for not putting the return trains. But uh, I did pull in two because I do two trains this week. So that will be for my train out. And then I definitely want to use a big old half box. Like big, big. So these bow, ones from the bow sampler that are massive. Um, for this meeting because it is a, a full day super intense meeting. So... I am going to, oh, I think I'm going to cover the bow actually, because I'm going to put, I would rather have put the pink, but for, just for how much of this color is up here, but it's too close to the, this doesn't match perfectly and it's too close to the, and then it's obvious that it doesn't match if you put it next to the color it's kind of supposed to be. Does that make sense? But I think I'm going to cover this bow because I have this Arctic Paper Studio, yeah, uh, meeting script. That looks really great just on top of the box there. And then... I love, oh, and there we go. It's more, it makes sense I didn't use that box because this is the same color anyway. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to put this clipboard. I love that. Um, there, and then I can just write the details of the meeting. And then when I get home, I do still have a few things to do. So, oops, dropping stuff. Um, definitely going to take, oh, all the quarter boxes I have left are the same color. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Okay, well... I'm going to have to pull some stuff in. Or I can use some washi potentially. Yeah, maybe. Some of this washi can be written on for sure. I can definitely write on this. So, okay. So let me pull my icons again. That always helps. So I have folding my laundry. Midweek spread. Great British Bake Off. And having a bath. So. This can be for Great British Bake Off. This piece of washi for sure because this icon is small. So uh, just pull, put in that piece of washi and 
the TV circle icon from the kit. And then just take this. Um, like quarter block situation for my midweek spread. And that is the camera for the bow sampler and it's just gonna need a dot. And then I kinda wanna put having a bath in like one of these. So let's try it and see where we're at. Yeah, okay. Okay, I have a tiny, tiny amount of room there. I could probably put another piece of washi if there's another one I could write on. I mean, I don't see why I couldn't write on this one. Yeah. And then I just put this little hanger. And that's for folding the laundry. It needs a dot to check it off. Cool. Oh, oh, Great British Bake Off doesn't need a dot. I can check out the icon. Cool. So yeah, so we got Great British Bake Off. Posting our midweek spread, folding our laundry. That's all the kind of to-do type things. And then I do want to have a bath because after any kind of long day, it's always nice to just relax when you get home. So for that, I'm going to put this, let's see, maybe I'll do the script first. So I'm going to take my custom bath foiled script from Barney and Moon and one of the hearts from the kit to check it off. And then this Hair It Right Designs bath icon, which is from uh, the same, pretty sure it's the same foil mystery bundle as these full box overlays were from. Cool, so we squeezed everything in on Wednesday, which is great. Um, so moving on to Thursday, what do you want to do? Okay, so to start with, doing the same as on Monday, we're doing another stretching workout. So I do like to do four workouts and usually the day of the week that I will skip a workout is the day that I am like going onto campus or something similar where it's like a really early morning. Um, so yeah, just got my loose, another purple Lucinda Charlotte designs, uh, yoga mat there, Stella Sticker Co. foil workout script and hummingbird planner dot. Um, but yeah, so that is Wednesday this week. Um, but then on Friday, I also have an early morning and a train. So um, I am going to still try and do four, but I'm just going to scooch the fourth to Saturday. Usually I like to leave my weekends without putting, you know, that in. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see if it actually happens. Um, okay, so we've got our, our stretching workout. Uh, and then I want to mark that uh, my mom arrives. So both of my parents are coming. Um, but my dad is coming on business, so he's coming in on Wednesday, but I won't see him probably till Friday because he's working. Um, he just extended his business trip, and then my mom is coming just for vacation purposes, whatever. So, uh, not for business. So, she arrives on Thursday. So, I do want to, I'm not going to mark my dad arriving because I won't see him, but I will see my mom arriving. Well, I'm not going to go get her or anything, but I will see her on this day. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm just going to take the plane icon from the kit and something. <laughs> okay, what am I, how much am I trying to put in here? It didn't work, okay. Okay, I think we've got plenty of room. So the next thing is working after the, after my mom arriving. So, um, I could do this flag and then um, like a quarter box, maybe. So if we put like, this code of quarter box from the bow sampler. Yeah, and then we've got room for this flag. So the flag will go with the plane ticket, and that will be for my mom arriving in London. And then for, yeah, for working, I'm definitely going to be working in a coffee shop. <laughs> so I'm going to take this coffee mug icon from the bow sampler and a dot. And yeah, that is um, because... On this day, I have a haircut, which I will put next. And it just like didn't make sense with the different things I had to do that day because it didn't make sense to like work from home, go all the way to get my haircut, like come back home and then go to my mom's hotel when I finish. So I figured I'll go in the morning to a coffee shop that's near my barber shop and work there, get my haircut, go back to the same place, work, and then go meet my mom. So yeah. 
anyways, that means the next thing is a haircut. So, um, okay, I'm also going to put, let me start from the bottom. Uh, I also am going to put meal planning on this day. Again, to kind of shift around tasks. Uh, but if we can have our grocery list ready to go, my partner and I this week, then um, it'll make our kind of rushed food shop that we're going to try and do on Saturday morning uh, easier if we already have the grocery list. So we can make our list. Um, so I'm just taking an Arctic Paper Studio meal plans script and I'm just cutting off the S. I think it's supposed to be used as a header, like on like a, a weekly box or something that like these are our meal plans for the week, but I use it as an action to meal plan. So just cut off that. Sometimes I don't bother cutting off the S, but <laughs> I felt like it would fit better there and it does. So yeah, just the um, utensils icon from the kit and the Arctic Paper Studio meal plan. So yeah, we'll try and do that Thursday night. Um, I think that'll be the easiest time for us to do it. And then we'll have our shopping list ready to go. So, okay. Then I'm going to do something with my mom in the evening. Who knows what? Uh, TBD. But yeah, what do I want to put for that? I think I'll just put a nice half box. And then what's the other thing? Oh yeah, a haircut. I can't fit two of these, can I? Hmm. I would be quite surprised if I could. Nope, I cannot. Okay, that's okay. So I definitely want to put um, this size of box for hanging out with my mom because... We'll probably get dinner. It'll be like a bigger deal. We just haven't decided what yet, um, what we're actually doing yet. So, okay, so we've got that. And then I do have like more washi. I do have a quarter box as well, but it's like my last quarter box. So, um, no, I don't think, I, can I write on this? I feel like I could write on, I think I can write on this, honestly. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go for this piece of washi. I think these colors are light up. With black, yeah, I can write on this. Okay, so I'm just going to take that as my little bit larger label and then so I've got this Arctic Paper Studio hair appointment sticker that I, I love these so much so but they're like very big so I'm just gonna put that on top and then I've got a small Scribble Prints Co leftover from a Scribble Prints Co kit um little haircut icon so then I can just write the details next to it and check it off with that and then I'm going to leave this box blank because, again, we haven't decided what we're doing yet, but it'll probably be something along the lines of dinner. Um, and I don't know who will join us, will my partner go, if my dad will be free, or if he has business dinner, who knows. So, yeah, we're going to go for that. And moving on to Friday. Oof, Friday is going to be the tough day to fit things. I, th I think working from the bottom up is going to be the way to go. So we're going to do double... half boxes it's like the these are like a little bit smaller than your average half boxes and then the one on the bow sampler is a little bit bigger than your average half box um but yeah anyways uh okay okay can i fit a skinny piece of washi there i hope so uh, <laughs> oh i can i can barely fit it <laughs> okay i'm gonna scooch this down like ever so slightly Basically going to be almost touching. There we go. Just so that I've got a little bit more wiggle room for this piece of washi. Oh, look at that. That is basically no white space. <laughs> Throwback. <laughs> oh, okay. So, reason I need these is because I've got two of different stuff. So, okay. First of all... This one is for two TV shows. So I'm going to take two dots and okay, putting it on top is not going to work. So a lot of times I like to put the icon center and on top, but it's not going to work because it'll overlap that too much. So we'll take up the whole space with the two dots and I'll put it on the side. And this is for two TV shows. So I don't know when I'm going to watch these, but um, we have The Good Place and How to Get Away with Murder. So I'm just going to use the TV icon from the bow sampler. I can abbreviate both of those titles. So we're good to go there. And then this is for my two weekly to-dos. Oh, I, don't, I ran out of dots. Okay, I'm going to have to use hexagons here because I have one more dot left, but I need two. And it's going to look weird if I use two different things there. So yeah, I do have another heart as well. Just 
I think. Yeah, but mm, no, I think even a dot and a heart will look weird. So in that case, we're gonna take just some just just some pink hexagons from Peaceful Mind Designs from my hexagon sheets here, and this is for clearing my emails. So I just have the mail, the envelope um, icon from the bow sampler, and then backing up my files. So for that, I have I'm just gonna flip flop those um, the little like paper clip from the bow sampler, and then. I also have a meeting in the evening. So for that, uh, I good thing I was planning on using a small icon. <laughs> I was just going to use this car icon to mark that meeting. Okay, great. That is everything I hope to fit down there. So that's good. But that doesn't mean we can necessarily fit everything that's left up here because there's four things. I'm going to take quarter box. I'm going to go from the bottom up because the last thing I don't necessarily have to mark. Um, okay, so I'm going to take a quarter box. Those are the same color. Whatever, I'll get over it. Um, and this is for afternoon tea. So um, kind of more for dinner. So later in the day, um, my parents are going to afternoon tea and I said I would join them. So I've got my Coffee Monsters Co. I love that sticker. Um, I'll use a heart for this. Uh, my Coffee Monsters Co. Like fancy tea drinking emoji. I love that so much. Uh, and a heart from the kit to check it off. And then the thing before that is my appointment. Okay, I think this is very clear. We are not gonna fit having coffee on this day. It's not in the cards, it's not gonna happen. I wanted to use one of my, I wanted to use my script. It's not gonna work, so, okay. We're just gonna put this coffee script back on my extra scripts paper. And we're not gonna, we're not gonna use it. It's okay. So, <laughs> okay. Then in that case, we've freed ourselves up a great deal. So I've got my train tracker from Harry Wright Designs. This is for my train to Northampton, because uh, that's where this appointment is. It's very far away. I think I'll use a not decorative one, actually. So I want to use... Oh, man, I can't even fit that. Really? Oh, man. Yeah, no, that's really not going to fit. Not even scooching stuff around is going to make that fit. Okay. So then instead of that, what could we do? I mean, I guess Washi has been coming to the rescue. So we could do like, even two pieces? That's a little bit much. I could trim it, but maybe that's not necessary. Um, I put this up a little bit more. Okay, then I have my appointment script from Arctic Paper Studio, which is gonna go just at the top here. And then it's a doctor's appointment, so ostensibly, so um, I'm gonna take this like medical bag icon from the kit to check it off. And there we go. Okay, so that's Friday. We didn't fit having coffee in, but that's not the end of the world, really. Uh, okay, so moving on to Saturday, I think I think bottom up's the way to go again. So do have a bill due. Um, used up all my quarter boxes. I think more washi is the way to go. So okay, gonna take some like a quarter box ish sized piece of washi. And uh, that is for my phone bill. Uh, I'm just gonna take this money bag <laughs> icon from the bug sampler and I'm gonna take my last dot to check that off. And then it is also a friend's birthday. So I'm gonna take, I think, I think we're just gonna keep using little like washi things. Um, yeah, we decided we could write on this washi, right? Yeah. We decided we're going to try and write on this washi. So, okay. Why is this trying to go here? Uh, okay. So, for the birthday, there's this balloons icon with the kit I'm going to use. Um, okay, and then I need to vacuum. Uh, okay, I'm going to scooch back up here for a second. 
And oh, I should have saved that last dot for that. Oh well. Can I take it up? Yeah, I could pick it up. Okay. Um, just so that it looks more uniform. So, okay. So again, we've got Hummingbird Planner Dot, Stella Bow Sticker Co. Workout Script. And then uh, this time, it's another cardio one. So I pulled in another icon from that same. Uh, yeah, does that layering look okay? I think that looks okay. Looks exactly okay. <laughs> Not great. I mean, I can probably scooch this over a little bit more. Um, so... Yeah. Oh, oh no! I totally ripped that. Oh, can I? This might be a little bit extra, but I'm gonna take my glue runner and try and. Oops. Should probably not have tried to take that off. Seems like it was coming up fine though. Okay. Got some glue on the back of here. Okay, and then back down here, I need somebody to check this off. So, I mean, I do have these like heart checklists with the kit that I'm not planning on using for checklists. And something I've done before when these like similar format checklists come in rose color days kits is just cut the hearts out and use those as to check things off. Yeah, why not? Not as neat as I would like to have done it, but to use as much as the kit as we can, you know, I like to do that. So. Okay, so I've got a couple of these now. Um, great, so, okay, so then we've got that up there. What else do we need to fit? I'm gonna put, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make an executive decision to put food shop here. Do these two, if I put these two together, I mean, I could just put in the white space, but if I put these two together, would that be enough background for this? I mean, it's close enough, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna put Food Shop. That's from Arctic Paper Studio, that script. And then I'm just gonna put this grocery cart icon from the kit to check it off. And yeah, we're gonna put it down there, even though we're probably gonna do it earlier in the day, not necessarily. So it's gonna go down there like, like it's a proper to-do section. And then, yeah, and that's just for like the size boxes I wanna use for different stuff. That's gonna be the best way to fit it. So, okay, yeah, then the last thing was vacuuming, which, I mean, yeah, I'm literally just going to keep taking <laughs> washi. This is just going to be an all washi section down here. Um, great. And then I'm going to take this. I know it's a spray bottle, but we'll live. It means cleaning. That's going to be for vacuuming. Awesome. Okay, cool. So then we're, we actually are in good shape for up here. So I've got my workout. And then I'm going to use this. Yeah. I mean, I could also use this on this day, so mm, I'll hang on to it for a sec. Yeah, what if we did take one of these? Okay, yeah, that's better. And then we only got like a small piece of washi. It's kind of too small, but it's what we've got. So, all right. So for the piece of washi. I am going to take this pot uh, and one of these hearts that I've cut out <laughs> to check it off. And that is for lunch. Um, so we're going to go, uh, we're going to meet my parents, go out to lunch. Then we're going to a football game with my parents and my in-laws. So I've got this family time script from Arctic Paper Studio. It was tempting to use this family time script like for literally everything this week. Um, but I decided that the way I was going to use it was for events where my two families were meeting. So like anything with my parents and my in-laws, I would use the family time script. So it's kind of arbitrary, just what I decided. So yeah, we're going to the football and I've got this sneaker. It's the same color, but that's okay. It's not filled in, so it's fine. Um, sneaker icon 
and QPR is small. So I can just write that in the time there, but we've got that sneaker icon to check it off. Awesome. So we fit everything on Saturday. That's great. And then on Sunday, easier to fit actually. So I think this is going to go here again next to each other, same color, but I'm just going to have to get over that. Um, I'm not going to be able to fit one of these, am I? No, that's it. Disappointing thing about that. So kind of stuck with one of those bigger boxes but I think this one is appropriate for this so this is going to be another family time um well I can probably yeah put it above a little bit because it won't have much to put there um well yeah, I really wish I could fit something well maybe I'll put it down a little bit We'll see what we can do when we get there. Okay, so another family time script because uh, my parents, my partner, my sister-in-law, the kids, uh, everybody, we're going to go for a walk in the park. So um, that's why I put the little feet because the baby's going to be there. So, you know, obviously the baby's always the highlight uh, of any activity. <laughs> so, yeah, that's for going on a walk with them. Um, and then... I guess I could take this extra bottom washi and just cut it to size. And then for this, I ran out of food related stuff. So I pulled in this Chef Emoti from the Coffee Monsters Co. Um, and did I say this is for a roast? We're going for uh, my, just my parents, my partner and I, four of us are going for a Sunday roast at our favorite roast spot. And then uh, we're going for the walk afterwards, so. That's kind of the, our plan. And then I'm gonna um, trim another one of these uh, heart checklists for to mine some more things to check things off with. So there we go. And then moving on down here, I have my usual stuff. So Take this extra washi bit. And for that, I was just gonna take um, this planner. I thought that would be a good way to use, because there's like a lot of planners that come with this, on this um, like planner related stuff. But I only need to mark planning once in a week. So um, I figured I'd use the planner to mark my posting my end of week spread since I used the only camera already on Wednesday. Uh, so that's my end of week spread. And then I want to do a face mask. So for that, I'm just going to take this face mask sticker from GP Sticker Studio. It's from a multicolor sheet with another, the last of those little purple uh, hearts. And then, I mean, could put this and try and fit them both on there. I definitely could do that. Yeah, why not? Let's do that. So then I can space stuff out a little more. So I can, ooh, boy. okay, <laughs> oops. So yeah, I can give this face mask a little bit more room to breathe. And then the last things are journaling and doing my receipts. So for journaling, I'm just gonna take this asterisk cause it's very miscellaneous. Put it up here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna write over that, whatever. Um, I wanted to use, I did have the plain gray one left, but I wanted to use the decorative one because it just goes with the kit more perfectly. And a gray one is a great thing to have left over because I could use it with like literally any kit. So um, yeah, and then I've got this credit card from the bow sampler to mark doing my receipts. And then I'm just gonna have to trim another one of these checklists. Put that across from there. It looks a little bit weird if I'm honest. Actually, I don't know. If I can get these up, maybe I would want to switch. I don't know if I can though. Might want to switch this to the gray one after all. I think it's a little bit too busy. Actually, maybe because that looked weird, I'll put the heart next to the icon and I can write it in there. Yeah, why not do that? Okay, great. So that is, that's our week. We somehow managed to fit everything, which is pretty amazing. And then I just feel like it, I feel like this copper is really, really jarring. So I don't actually really want to use any of those. Okay. So instead, yeah, instead I'm going to use the, 
um, five millimeter to cover up. So like here, for example, because the, the sidebar headers all have scalloped bottoms, which I don't like because you can like see stuff. I mean, I guess I could just white it out, but then you would see, you can kind of see white out. So, um, I'm just gonna, is that the right? Yep. Okay. So we need our sewing tool out again. So yeah, I'm just gonna use the pink five millimeter to just like put a little foil there and make it a little bit more just like, yeah, I don't know, cover up the issue with the, with the space there. So, okay. Yeah, I think it looks really nice. So we've got two habit trackers in the kit, which is perfect. Um, one of those is for meditating. So I have my hair and right designs meditate script to put in one of them and then yeah so that so we did this week for everything so then work yeah well it's kind of school three I just realized there's a school header the, the work I'm putting in is like my school work um, that's what I put in the sidebar rather than my job work <laughs> which I ha I do I have like a separate work planner where I put in what I need to do for work each each day um, but yeah, so we'll use the school header to just make that clear. I don't mind using the work header because it all it feels like work to me, but um, yeah. I think it'll just make sense. So we'll put this washi there. Yeah. And then I've got a weekly box. Okay. And then um, important is the last kind of miscellaneous one. So we'll do that for our sidebar checklist. Awesome. And then I've got the little checklist here. And it goes to the bottom, but I do also have this last little bit of, does this fit? No, it's too big. Okay, that's all right. Um, cool. So there we go. It covers all the writing lines, so we're good to go there. Um, and then in this sidebar, I am going to put, yeah, so I'm going to take this planner and I guess I'm just going to put it across from like the first part there. And that's going to be for planning next week. I literally, as you can see, this week is wild. Literally I have no idea when it's going to happen. Like the only day I have space is Monday, but Monday is way too early in the week to put out my spread for next week. Too much stuff changes. So yeah. Um, who knows when it's going to happen? Probably in all likelihood it'll happen in stages. Like maybe if I do have time on Monday, I will, you know, put down the base of it and then like, you know, go, you know, I'll probably have to do it in stages. Uh, but I do just want to put it in the sidebar. So, um, as it's to do to make sure I get it done. And then finally there is, um, some lovely, lovely deco with this kit. So I do want to scatter that on top. So I'll do that really quick. Okay. Awesome. I love how that deco looks really nice. So yeah, let me, sh let me do a wiggle first. So you can see all this beautiful rose gold foil. Lighting's not amazing today, but I think you can see how lovely it all turned out. And in terms of what we have left in the kit, I just have a few sidebar headers and a set of to-do headers since I decided against using them um, here. I've got just three uh, bow sampler icons left. Um, one of these like third boxes, one circle icon and a bit of the checklists. I've got just two pieces of washi and nothing on that sheet. So yeah, I think I use this kit pretty well, especially since I have all this space that will get filled up um, as the, as time goes on. But yeah, I really hope you like this plan with me. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And please, please, please subscribe. It would mean the world to me. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.